Today we're going to see AFB in the flesh. Welcome to Winnie Great Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm here with Frank Ratley from the Bee Unit. Frank is the head bee inspector here in Wales, and we're going to look at some AFB in the flesh. Get some really nice close-ups of AFB. So if you see it, you're going to know what to look for, and we're going to talk about the processes that you need to go through if you see this in your hive. Now hopefully, and the chances are with you, you're never going to see this, especially if you're a small time beekeeper, but very important that you know what this looks like and you're aware of what it looks like. Because as Frank will say now, this is a notifiable disease. By law, if you see this in your hive, you need to phone Frank or the rest of the people here at the bee unit and let them know you found it. Even if you think it's there and you're not quite sure, ring these guys up just in case yeah hello very, Frank. very much so yeah hello yeah uh normally under in a normal year we'd be doing bee health events with the local beekeeping associations which are open to everybody but um, and we uh we demonstrate disease combs like this but this year as last year with the pandemic restrictions we haven't been able to do live face-to-face -face events so uh, this is a very good opportunity to be able to show you disease frames what to look for and uh, Griff has kindly agreed to uh, for us to have a slot on his YouTube channel oh, so, my, my pleasure glad to have you and it's a bit of um, I don't know, memory lane or nightmare lane because I've actually had AFB in the past and help, help Frank helped me uh, sort it out everything so we dash accredited here at Green and Griffith, but um, we work very closely with the B unit and anything that I see I'm not too sure of, I do send frames off uh, to the B unit for them to make sure that I haven't missed anything, if I suspect anything. But we've got some tests, Frank, we can do a field test today. Yeah, we, we'll do an LFD test, we've got some actually out-of-date LFD uh, kits, we'll do a, uh, an out-of-date one which will still work perfectly well for, for, the, for our purposes here. Uh, so you know, everyone's getting pr pretty familiar with LFD tests. Uh, so and we've been using them for a number of years. They were field validated, I think, in 2005. So we've we've been using them for a number of years out in the field. So we can do an on-site diagnostic test if we suspect notifiable disease. There's one for AFB. There's one for EFB. But we're looking at AFB today. Uh, we we're, we're actually licensed to. Uh, to demonstrate disease combs like this, they will then subsequently be burnt. Um, but we've, we've taken these especially for demonstration purposes. So we'll have a look at, at what we're looking for. Now, um, these were uh, from uh, uh, an ordinary breed nest, um, uh, coming on quite well at this time of year. But what we're looking for in, in uh, the, uh, the, the brood combs is a sometimes, uh, very often you get a pepper pot brood pattern where the disease cells, the queen won't subsequently lay in the disease cells and as more and more cells are diseased uh, there's less and less uh, laid in so you get uh, a pepper pot brood pattern. We're also looking for AFB is uh, a, a, a disease uh, which um, it shows in sealed cells. So we're, we're looking at the cappings of sealed cells and with AFB, whereas in, in normally they're uh, slightly convex, even color, um, nice, nice even color looking. Uh, with AFB, they tend to be darker, sunken, greasy looking and perforated. And the other, the other thing we tend to look for when we're inspecting, uh, we, we look out for just odd sealed cells on their own because they've been left by the bees because they're diseased. They, they eventually would be perforated 
maybe, as I said, sunken, uh, greasy looking. Um, but, but we're always suspicious of odd sealed cells on their own, especially if you carefully open up the capping with some tweezers or we've got some cocktail sticks here today. Uh, if you open up the capping and they appear empty, the reason, reason why, if they appear empty, I would be very suspicious because the, the larva has, has been, the um, AFB spores have uh, proliferated in the larva and it's, it's uh, sunken down into a sort of gloopy mass at the bottom of the cell uh, just a, 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 and, and just taking up a very small uh, part of the cell at the bottom. So we'll have a look um, more closely yeah. uh, in them. Uh, so if you're a, a beekeeper now and someone has seen a perforated cell and they get a little tweezers and they order the cocktail stick that we've got today now and they go in there and they stick that cocktail stick in and they pull it out and they see some liquidy goo coming out with the stick, that is what we're looking for in the first instance. If and apart that from the the cap being as perforated. That, that's what's called the ropiness test, and that is the classic test for AFB. Yeah. If you if you put a matchstick or a cocktail stick in, stir it round a bit and withdraw it. If you get a, 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 a ropey exudate from the cell, uh, you'll see it, it if it sometimes it's inch or two long. Now nothing else will cause that. Sometimes with sat brood you get a, 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 the larva forms a sort of fluid filled sac, you can stir that around, but you won't get the ropey exudate. Um, with um, with uh, uh, AFB, um, it's, it's, very, it's very distinctive. Um, Sounds like scary stuff, and it is. Let's have a closer look then, Frank, and for you to show us exactly what AFB looks like, what we're looking for exactly, and hopefully, uh, that we're going to see some rope in so people can see exactly what we're talking about. Because yeah. this might sound um, like massive science or you're very, very complex talking. It's not. You'll see Frank here today now, you'll know exactly what we're talking about and hopefully you've never seen this before and chances is you're not going to see it but just be aware of this disease because this is very serious. Because if you get this, Frank, it's instant destruction. There is no cure for this. It's automatic it? destruction because it will develop through the hive and eventually the hive will die out anyway um, and under the legislation it is automatic destruction of the hive so um, we uh, um, kill the bees uh, with with petrol the fumes kill the bees uh, we we dig a, a pit and we burn the frames in a, in a pit and uh, cover them up cover them over eventually uh, job done it's uh, it's all burnt and buried in the ground. Right there, Frank. Okay. We'll uh, get some close-up of of okay. the AFB. Yeah. Um, it's certainly with um, scale. It's a matter of getting the angle and the light right. What I'm looking for here, um, you'll notice that uh, there's a uh, sealed cells around the edge here. I'm seeing here. There's a darker one. It's slightly sunken. There's, uh, there's some perforated cappings here. So I'm going to put the cocktail stick in here. I'm going to stir it around a bit. And there, we've got a, we've got a ropey, ropey exudate. This is, this is fairly dark. When it's fresh, it's lighter than this. We may find some, some lighter. So I'll try another one here. This is a uh, perforated capping. I'll stir it around, withdraw it, and we're getting a we're getting a ropey exudate here. The other thing to note about AFB is the larva, once the bacteria have have consumed it, it's completely formless. So I mentioned about sac brood. You'll always get some form with sac brood. But with, with AFB, the larva is completely formless. So you're, you've just got a sort of, uh, uh, we say, see here, a sort of ropey gloop. That's not a very good one. We'll try another one. Um, you've just got a ropey 
gloop there and you can see the the ropiness there and and it's just it's just a, a it, it's just a, a ropey sort of gloop there's absolutely no form to it there the scale at the bottom of the cells there it's like a sort of it's like a charcoal sort of tongue in the bottom of the cells there these three as well and that it that is the scale that is the dried remains of the lava and that that remains the bees can't pull that out so this one i'm looking at again we've got fairly even looking cappings there but we've got a darker one here a bit sunken so we'll give it a give it a stirring stir it around it's slightly lighter so it's slightly younger and you can can you see the ropiness there it's roping quite nicely we'll try another one here again that's uh, that's ropey I mean, you, you can see there that b before they've fully dried out there, the larval remains. So the, there's no, no capping on these actually, but you can see they're just sort of sitting, in a, lying in the bottom of the cell. And again, they're, they're roping quite nicely. Right. So this frame, you can see there's uh, what, we, what I've mentioned, a pepper pot brood pattern there. Um, you've got some uh, more of a more brood around the edge and, and very sort of patchy in the middle. You'll notice that there's a variation in colour of the cappings here. So you've got nice convex, evenly coloured, quite light coloured ones here. And then you've got these darker ones. You've got you, they're slightly sunken, and they're some of them are perforated. So these are these are the ones we'll we'll have a look in. So start with this one. So I'm putting putting the cocktail stick in there, giving it a stir around, and we're drawing it. And you see, you've got a a completely formless a goo that's uh, that's roping very nicely. Now that is very distinctive. You won't get that with with anything else. We'll have a look at this perforated one. If we open up the perforation a bit, you should be able to see the remains of the lava lying on the bottom there, sort of light brown remains lying on the bottom of the cell. We we'll stir it around, withdraw it, so there's, there's, it's just a goo, there's no form to it at all. And you can see there, it's roping very nicely. Just try one more here. It's, it's, it's sort of light, it's not quite a very light, but it's not very dark brown either. So the very fresh ones are, are quite a light brown and they go darker and darker and eventually just dry out on the bottom to form a sort of charcoal colored scale at the bottom. So if we get the, the angle just right, you can, see, you can see some scale on the bottom of these cells here. So if we look at some of the, uh, the empty cells here where the lava has is resting on the lower side of the cell has dried out and formed what we call scale, which the bees can't actually remove. And it's like a, a, a sort of charcoal colored tongue lying on the lower side of the cell, which if you, you have to look at it from the, the, the top bar side of the frame. Uh, so you're looking at an, at an angle down into the cells and getting the light just right shining on the lower side of the cell um, and you can clearly see the the scale if you stuck to the lower side the the other thing that we're seeing here 
which you don't always see, but we've got quite a, a good example here on this frame, is the, the tongue or the proboscis of the lava as the lava has settled onto the lower side of the cell, the proboscis is still sticking out and you can see it quite clearly on, on this cell here, which is, uh, we're quite fortunate to have that. You don't necessarily always see that. So everyone's getting familiar with LFD kits. We've been using them for a number of years now. Uh, they were field validated, I think, in 2005. This, I've actually got one here, it's out of date, but it, it'll, I'm still confident it'll work perfectly well and I've kept it for demonstration purposes. So we've done a visual examination in the field on, the, on these frames. Uh, really, as I've pointed out, it, it, AFB is very distinctive, particularly the ropiness test, uh, but um, for field diagnosis, we'll use uh, an LFD kit. In the kit, there is a spatula thing for removing the diseased lava. There's a buffer solution which we'll put it in. There's a um, little pipette for putting the solution into the LFD kit itself, which is, which is this device here. So, first step, we find a nice diseased lava. We're pretty spoiled for choice here. Looking for a, a nice uh, sunken, darker capping that's slightly perforated. Perfect one here. So I'll stick me spatula in, get as much of the diseased lava out as I can, put it in the buffer solution. Shake it up for 20 seconds. Well mixed up. We take some out with the pipette and we'll drop three drops into the well of the LFD. If we get a line there, that's the test line and the C is the control line. So the fluid moves across. The control line is just to show that the, the test has run as it should. Uh, if we get a line by the T, that is the test line, and that shows a positive test. So if there are two lines, it shows the test has run and the antibodies have shown a line on the test line. So, so that larva was diseased with American fowl brood. Well, that's it. That's AFB. And Frank, I don't think we could have had a better test frame to film today. These were fantastic frames. Really obvious to see the AFB. And um, we saw the rope in. We saw the sunken caps, perforated caps. We saw the scales. I mean, fair play. Uh, you guys did your job today and uh, found some perfect we've, frames. We, we've been very fortunate as well that we've had sunlight to show you the, the frames and that makes a lot of difference good lighting into the cells you can really see what's going on we've been very fortunate with the lighting here so uh, just for everybody at home to understand uh, the situation you know if someone thinks they've seen this uh, and they're worried they're stressed uh, they don't want to kill their bees they feel overwhelmed now um, you guys you come in you do all this for free you you take control of the situation, you eradicate the problem. So once you guys have been, you've got a, you've got a great team of staff right across the UK, you clean the site, you sterilise everything down, and then once you leave, that site is free and clean again, and they can uh, continue to beekeep. Is, is that right, Frank? That, that's right, yes. Yeah, we, we do the job, uh, we, we do the destruction, do the burn, we, we take over, we make sure everything's sterilised, and we leave uh, the, uh, uh, all the, the outer boxes scorched and sterilised. We, we come back in six weeks' time now. If we do find a notifiable disease, 
we put a standstill on the apiary, we come back after six weeks and inspect any, any healthy hives there. If, if they are all healthy, we withdraw the standstill notice so you carry on as normal. We also do a sweep of the area. So that's the, one of the important reasons why all beekeepers should be registered on BeeBase. But we do try and visit new beekeepers because we don't know where the bees have come from. We like to do a health check on the bees. We will also check the, the grid reference of the apiary because BeeBase works on grid references. So when we do a sweep of the area, we'll do a three kilometre sweep where we find disease, so we'll check all the apiaries within three kilometres and then we expand that out to five kilometres. So you get a free health check on your hives. Excellent stuff. So don't worry about disease, if you have got it, these guys will sort it out and get your apiary back to normal in no time at all. Well, that's it for this video. Super insightful and super knowledgeable. Hopefully you know what AFB looks like and you're confident enough to see that in your sights to give these guys a call. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you very much, Frank, and thank, thank you very you much for your team. So, filming this, we get this on film. I think a lot of beekeepers are going to find this video very useful. Uh, it's going to be a great free resource out there for people to come and have a look at and um, hopefully you'll get lots of calls of people who are not on B-Base ringing up to sign up. Or self-registering on, online, yes. There we yeah, go. Ab absolutely. Well, this, is, this has been a very good uh, alternative to a bee health event uh, that we haven't been able to do face-to-face, uh, -face, but we have been able to do it with social distancing here today. And um, hopefully, well, I don't, I don't want to say hopefully, we don't want to find any EFB in Wales. But if we, if we do find EFB, are you willing to come back and do a second video with me to show everybody some EFB? We'll scour the country and see what we can find, Greg. There we yes. go. Fingers crossed, you don't find any, so the video won't Absolutely. get created. So I'm not saying we want to find it, but if we do find it, we're going to try and get that out to you as well. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to this channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.